So well, in this lesson, we will have a quick look on, on the main properties of ArcGIS and how to create a fancy map. So first of all, I've got here data for, for the whole world. Now we can check the attribute data by right-clicking and choosing open attribute table. Here we can see the shape, area, shape, line, and population. Uh, the population is calculated on the ra uh, randomly as I couldn't find the population for the whole world, but just take this imaginary, okay? So, as we said, uh, the spatial data or the polygons are directly linked into the attribute table. So if I click the info button here, I click in some of the countries, I can get the desired information about the country, including fake population and all other attributes. So now, uh, what if you would like to make some other type of visualization? Well, uh, the S3 base maps are in uh, web my cutter coordinate system while these data are in WGS uh, at first we'll try to transform the data to w, uh, from WGS to uh, web mercator which is a part of WGS but it works better with the S3 base map so if you right click on the layer and go to properties And then go to source, and we can see that these data are in uh, ETRS. Oh, no, sorry, not WGS. Anyway, we'll try to project them. For this purpose, we will try to use the search uh, function where we will search for project. Project data. This step you can perform with any type of data of any coordinate system if you'd like to project them into your own national coordinate system or from your own coordinate system to a global one. So here we take the, in the, uh, the input data. Here, we, here is a defined coordinate system. Here we just define. Uh, here we just define the output and here we choose the web mercator. If we don't have correct to indicate wordies, we just type here web Show up down here, and then you can add it. But I use one star to favor two favorites. Okay, uh, geographical transformation will be added automatically, and then we can click OK, and the projection will go on. Okay. Now the transformation was performed, so we open a new document for the coordinate system as. Uh, Reset it, then we add data in Web Mercator, and you may see that the data look slightly different, especially this part. But you can see that, uh, for instance, the USA or the America, Africa, and Europe looks much more the way we are used to uh, used to see it. Okay, so now if you would like to work just with European countries or just with part of Europe you can just go to take this select button and you can just go like this and select the countries that we will, would like to work with okay then we can go right click data export data and we, just, we can just go for Now we 
just got the data for your or count or data uh, we have we have selected. So what now if we would like to visualize uh, the population with which I said is the population are fake numbers, but uh, we will work with that. So if we go right click and we go to properties, there we go to symbology, and you can see that now all features are marked with the same symbol. Single symbol. If we go to get categories, then we can go to we choose the population attribute, we go out to pull values, and it will assign a single color for each of the countries. Which you see that I haven't chosen the right values, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't care about the values. But you see this is not very good visualization as some are my saying that uh, there is not much different in between the color Poland and Norway. So we go again to symbology quantities then we choose some interval. Now you can see that we, we create such a nice and fancy cartogram. You can choose different colors you can choose different classes or you can use different uh, statistical uh, statistical intervals so now when we finish doing this just change some nice color so now we would like to uh, put, let's say, codes of the countries in the map. So we just right, right click properties, we go to labels. There we choose the country ID, label features, go views, and you can see the country codes, and we can go symbol Just wait edit symbol Just wait mask we use the halo effect number one okay okay and as you can see it's all marked with, with white outline which makes it much, much more uh, much better uh, readable Okay, so now if you just go to you now if you just go to the symbols you can add some different colors. I don't like this red color, this one better. So now we go to this button, layout view. Here we can create the map. So here we can resize the main map. Go like this. Just to show the area I would like to present in the map. And then we will add then we will add the main map field. This is the insert and title relation of Europe. And we go insert legend. You go to Europe only. These are all available layers, these are the layers in the legion go next and in every step you can press the preview button to see how your, how your legion looks like so you don't need the legion title here you can choose the background you can choose a shadow whatever you like but, but keep it as simple as possible here we may choose whatever shape you like to have in the region. And the same is the value if you have some line features. Okay, so here, here we got a region. Okay, we can resize this a little. Then we will insert a scale bar, which is very important. We go to kilometers, 
Where the right is um, then just to scale it. So it's be divided in the yes. So just for instance. Okay. And I'm going to add text. It, it will appear here as a well small text. Uh, it goes here we go, who created this map. Brown data R S3 and date March 2017. So when we are finished, we can save it or go file export map and PDF. And we try to look at so here we go here we got the map in PDF which looks much more better than in ArcGIS and when we switch when we go and switch back to the main view now we can try to add data and we can add some base map so we got imagery we got topographic map we can add to our data so these data are added from A3 uh, server, so we can use them as a base map, the background map, or how, how we call it. And these maps are scale dependent, which means the more we zoom in, the more information we get. So if we choose this single symbol, and we just outline, oh, sorry, just outline countries. So you can see like this and each country is uh, each country is uh, supporting the data set with their own data which can be seen in this Czech Republic and German border where in Czech Republic the, the data are 1 to 10,000 and German side they are 1 to 25,000 so there is much more detail uh, on this southern side of the board than in Germany. And I don't know how about other countries of the world, but you can check it out. So, that was in brief uh, the, the simple usage of RJS and how to create a simple map.